Hello guys, today's video is for a Legacy of Nightmare build on the PTR server for patch 2.43. Now this one is pretty sick. It's, it's naughty good. It's a fire build. It uses the, the brand new barber, which makes uh, enemies explode into uh, craziness, man. It's, it's really strong. It's really, really strong. And uh, this could be our new solo meta, as long as it doesn't get the nerf back by a blizzard. Blizzard already know about this build, so we'll see what happens. But it's pretty damn cool. It's a little bit glitchy. It needs a little bit of fixing, but it's very, very cool. Anyway, let's go through the build. Um, the Barber, those that know, got changed. The Barber got changed now, and it's now a new Spirit Barrage weapon. Instead of dealing direct damage, your Spirit Barrage now accumulates on the target. And when you stop chanting, it explodes up to 250 weapon damage within 15 yards. Now, this is crazy. It's a bit like, um... It's a bit like exploding palm mechanic on the Monk. That's pretty much what it is. And, uh, it's really, really strong. I devised a fire build. Now, there is a cold version of this build going around as well, which we threw off yesterday on the stream, but I wanted to do a fire one, because there's so many fire gear you can put into this build, and it works like an absolute charm. <laughs> it's absolutely brutal. So, uh, let's go through the gear. Right, so uh, first guys we're going to use is uh, Vu's Juicer. This also gives you um, the effectiveness of Hablotomize and Spirit is Willing. So pretty much, man, what it basically means, it gives you infinite mana and infinite healing. I'm not saying that you're indestructible, but you're not, but don't worry about mana. You have no mana problems whatsoever. So uh, yeah, it gives you crazy healing. And also, of course, the dagger gives you an extra, up to an extra 60% um, Spirit Barge damage as well. Um, if you have to choose between these two weapons to wear, always wear the Vu's Juicer because a Ceremonial Knight has a higher damage grade, so it goes up to 1940. This is classed as a basic dagger, so it can go nowhere near as high as a Ceremonial Knife. And to be honest, you're better off wearing this anyway because this item here cubed will not give the Spirit Barrage damage, just the Ephraim effect. So always wear the Vu's Juicer. Uh, we're using the Gaze and Myers as well. Uh, basically, what this does, it gives you uh, Phantasm Room. Uh, it gives you three of these and it'll increase your damage by an extra 50%. 100 possible 100 extra 50 percent on top so every time we cast this you can see this here on the floor it's fantastic it's really really cool so it gives you shit like dps fantastic uh boots guys we're using illusionary boots for complete freedom of movement so you can run through all the mobs uh for pants we're using swap land raiders which now are fire damage as well you can roll any element you want but for this particular one we want fire damage here so it just absolutely wrecks um of course we're using the lawn set with legacy of nightmares what this basically does is these two rings here um for every ancient item you're holding so there's 13 you get actually up to 100 percent on each one so 1300% extra damage and also 4% for per h as well which works out to 54% damage reduction as well the first gem that makes this build really strong is the zia stone of vengeance now basically what this does gives you more damage the further you away are from the mobs so uh, it's a super long range sniper build that's one of the best things about this thing it's a super long range build you, you, the whole point of it is to keep away from the monsters and watch them get bloody detonated basically it's fantastic and um, the next thing we're using the uh, wailing host is of course is bane of the trapped bane of the trapped is propped uh by horn by horn basically so make sure you tag them and um it will proc the your uh your haunt bonus as well we'll go for the rotation in a bit and the last gym guys of course is bane of the stricken for the rift guardian kill lovely 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 Excellent, okay, so uh, belt-wise, I'm using Belt of Transcendence. This gives more toughness to, say, Witching Hour. Witching Hour will give us a lot more DPS. But having fetishes that off-tank, because remember, they, this belt spawns fetishes up to 15 when using the Mana Spender. We're spamming this all the time, so we get fifth permanent fetishes out all the time. They're there just for off-tank and to stop some nasty effects and just put, keep the mobs a bit further back so you could just basically blow the living shit out of them but um, you know if, if you want to you can go full dps and stick in a witcher now but it will take give you a hit to your toughness so it's up to you I, I really like the pet version personally i like the off-tank pets it's pretty sweet uh gloves guys we're actually using mage fist. can you believe it we're actually using mage fist. and uh fire skills are an additional 20 percent increased damage man great gloves uh we're using corruption shoulders as well for the pickup radius, you can use uh, Scald Pauldrons of the Skeleton King here as well. But the extra pickup radius is quite nice for grabbing globes to heal you up and uh, you know extending your GI radius as well. So try and get secondary pickup radius and the rest of your gear if you can. Uh, for hell, we're using Lyric's Crown. Um, basically, for the gem upgrade here, 
and actually uh, up to 100%. I've already got an 80 here, but it's the meta roll, which is quite cool. So um, it just increases the effect of your gem in your helm, basically. It gives us even more HP. We're for a million HP, so it makes it slight and tanky. Fantastic. And of course, guys, you want to use a Hellfire amulet as well. This particular one has a Spirit Vessel. And uh, yeah, make sure everything is ancient. Uh, we're using uh, Lukuba's Ornament as well, with the usual roll. This, this with uh, Soul Harvest here will give us an extra 30% damage reduction and a big armor buff as well. And that is the gear. Um, in the cube, guys, we have, of course, the Barber. Do not ever, ever wear the Barber, because you're gimping yourself, because that means you have to cube this, you know, lose the Spirit Barrage damage bonus. So always wear a Vujusa, and always put the Barber in the cube. And it gives you that giant bomb, which we'll show you in just a minute. Uh, guys, you always want to have use Aquila Curace as well. You need the damage reduction. Without this item, you are dead. While well above 90% primary resource, okay, mana, you take 50% reduced damage. And so because we can generate power infinitely in this build, because of the reducer there with the spill arena rune here, we've never run out of power. So it's very, very, very cool. And the last of these guys, of course, is Ring of Emptiness, man. For that 300% increased damage buff. When mobs are hit by your horn and locust swarm, <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, you will, uh, you'll see some crazy shit. Also, guys, by the way, uh, remember, Bay in the Trapped is also propped by your NATO as well, so you don't always have to haunt everything. Okay, well, you want to, but you know I me, mean? you will prop from that as well. And there you go. Okay, so um, let's go through the runes quickly. Uh, spirit barge, well of souls, bombard four enemy, uh, bombard an enemy with four spirit bolts that deal a total of a blah blah damage, and an additional free spirit, free spirit seek out as well. So, this was always my most favorite rune for Spirit Barrage back in vanilla. You know, it just bombards the whole screen with loads and loads of spirits. It's just, just amazing. It looks really, it used to be a cold but it's fire now, which I kind of like now because we can get to dump all this crazy fire gear into it and just make it really cool. So uh, yeah, yeah, that one there, just, it just spreads out of fire. It just tags everything and blows shut up. You'll see what happens in a bit. Whole Poison Spirit, you know, linked to the mo next mob when it dies, 20% increased damage, part of the RE bonus set rotation, fantastic. Nado, extra 15% damage, groups everything up, blows everything up, fucking GG, well nice. Languish with the extra intelligence buff and armor buff and the Kabuba, the Kuba's ornament uh, damage reduction as well, so we get your 30 percent there. Spirit Walker Severance, uh, you can either choose out of this one, or Jaunt, it's up to you, you don't need Honor Guess, you don't need the power, you don't need healing, so um... Personally, I think Severance is your best bet these days. Local Sword Pestilence, um, this is part of the ROE bonus trigger. Use Pestilence because it tanks everything. You can use uh, Cloud of Insects, but it only affects a few mobs. So if you get into the point where you're getting really deep in the GRs and you're getting them nailed a little bit, switch to this and just do a couple of casts. You more than have enough mana to cast it. But I'm lazy, I like using Pestilence, man. Lovely. Okay, for uh, Passives, we use Junk Fortune just for that damage reduction. Um, if you want to play the close-up and personal version of this build, you can play it that way, but remember we're using Zone, uh, Zia Stone of Vengeance. So, um, at the moment we've got this up with a sniper setup, but you can go Confidence Ritual and then maybe go um, Swamp and Attunement if you want to go close range. It's up to you how you want to set it up, but we'll sweat this up as the sniper versions at the moment. Uh, Spirit, Breath, Spirit Vessel, sorry for uh, self-res, and of course Creeping Death, that makes it so... Um, the DRTs from uh, Locust Swarm and Point and Haunt will stay on the target for fucking for ages. So once they're tagged once, that's it, they're tagged, and you don't have to worry about casting that spell again. Brilliant. Uh, Paragon points. Um, I have dumped quite a bit into Vitality just to bring my hit points up to about 900, uh, 900k to a mil HP, because we have to offset that we don't use a sacred half, so for that 60% damage reduction. So, you know, right about 900 to a mil. Is normally enough. Okay, lovely. Right, let's show this in action then. Uh, also, guys, remember for all the sets of all the gear, all the meta rolls for this build, please refer to the Diablo fans guide build link in the description of this video. Right, we're just going to do a quick GR80. People have already done well into the 90s on this particular build. Uh, let's go and show in the reaction, man. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good, man. <laughs> so, first thing you want to do is uh, cast a few spirit barrages so you've got your mana regeneration, drop Nado, and then start tagging with your, uh, with your haunts and stuff. But uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty brutal, as you can already see, shit is dying already. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Remember, we're using Zeostone Avengers, so you, you want to try to stay a bit more further away from the mobs if you can, but you can just see them. Look at that. Fucking hell, boys. Uh, I just uploaded the Gargantuan one, which is really, really cool, but this one is... Brutal. We've got the, you know, we've got a lot of fire damage set up. This. I'm very quite high paragon, so this 80 is not that much of a challenge really at the moment. But I just wanted to show you guys, you know, the mechanics of how it works. It's 
It's pretty filthy. Right, we've got an elite pack now, so uh, tag them up with a uh, locust swarm. We've got the haunts on there now, and it's fucking almost dead already. <laughs> Jesus. So basically, what happens is when you stop channeling, the bombs go off. But you can also force them to go off as well. So basically, if you take the mobs up like that, if you cast away, it will set them off. So like, we'll take this dude up over here, then cast away. Oh, he actually jumped on me, give me a sec. You cast away over here and it set the bombs off. Like, boom. You see that? And it went off. <laughs> it's very really clever. It's a, it's a clever mechanic. You can use, um, there is a cold, like I said, oh, there is a cold version of this build where you can just basically use Spirit Barge Mana to it. It just shoots a little bubble out. But this one is is pretty fucking filthy. But Manitou can set it off a little bit easier, I think. But I love the long range bombardment version of this. I think it's very, very cool. I'll probably upload the cold version quite soon as well. It's, it's virtually the same. It's not that much different. It just uses frost burns and a few other bits. And there we go. Get a little bit further away so Zeus pops off. Like we shoot away now and it triggers it. See that? Oh, get those dudes in there. Oh. There we go. Getting a little bit hurt now because I don't have my maximum uh, stacks up from Soul Harvest. There we go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's dead already, what the fuck? Oh my god. It's really cool. It's, it's, a, it's a very, very cool build. I've been wanting Spirit Barrage to be good for... God, for years. For absolute, for years and years and years. And finally, we actually have a super long-range bomber caster build now for the Witch Doctor. You can see it's really, really effective. I must keep my snacks up here. Play like a noob. There we go. I've got a pack there now. So let's get in there. Just Tagged him up now. There he goes. He's all tagged up now with ROE. Get the bomb going. Oh shit, he's almost dead already. And boom, he's dead. He's already dead. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. This is what I was talking about like, casting away from them. You can set off the detonation. So it's this. It's, it's the uh, spirit. This, this rune on the floor. Phantasm. You can, you can set the bomb off manually. I don't think that's an intended mechanic, but it works. It's absolutely filthy, man. Well, this isn't down here now. Boom! <laughs> Just tag him, tag him and frag him, boys. Tag him and frag him. Just cast away a little bit, set off the bomb. Boom! It's clever, isn't it? Figured out this build yesterday on the live stream, man, and it was just. Uh, just like, holy shit, what, what, how's it not setting off always the time? Boom. And it's down. But pretty much, it's, it's, it's a little, 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 little bit like uh, Jade Harvester in a way. It's, it's a little bit like Jade. But, this is fucking crazy good. Obviously, you know, all ancient gear, it's going to be a pain in the ass to uh, get the right rolls of ancient on this. But, you know, me, man, I love, uh, I love to grind my loot out, so... Uh, Hopefully Blizzard doesn't nerf this, and uh, it will uh, be the life patch. But yeah, we've got basically, it, it's good. It's, it's very, very good. It's, it's about, it's, I would dare say this is a bit stronger than uh, Helltooth Garb right now, in its current form. The cold version just seems to be very, very strong as well. But we'll see what happens. Remember, it's PTR, things will be buffed, things will be nerfed, it's the huge rotation. Uh, Blizzard already know about this build already, so uh, we'll see what happens. There we go, we've got this guy built up now. Cast away, set off the bomb. It's not triggering at the moment. We need some more mobs, I think. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Cast away. Set off the bombs. Boom. Let's get some more trash. I must maintain my distance. So I Z as prox. Jesus. Now sometimes it's a little bit buggy. As you can see, it's not setting off. Boom, there we go. Now it sets off. So it's the truth burns you. Oh, 
Must be a vanilla, man. Boom, Max. Get out. Just <laughs> wish those booms go off, man. But yeah, what comes to the It's definitely... I'm just goofing around, it's not exactly uh, a good ref we've got here right now. Look at him just blah blah! Oh my god! Hopefully we can get a rift. Or maybe on the next level, so it's got a really lot of mobs. So I can really pack them in. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, my God! I do got wrecked! Oh my god, that pack almost insta-killed then. It almost insta-killed then. That last day was on a sliver of hell for you little fucker. Oh shit, son. Absolutely f By the way, you can put hands into this build as well if you want. But I quite like, uh, like the way it is actually. I'll upload the Garg one. Garg version of this build, which is really cool. That would definitely do GR90 as well. Fucking hell. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Is he dead? No, oh, did, did he die? Where the fuck did he go? Did. Oh, I think he died, but it was a bit, a bit like, uh, what the fuck there? I think he died, but I wasn't too sure. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's by himself. Fuck that. We'll just go to the next one. Next one. There we go. Go this like that. Oh my god, look! Oh, they're already dead! It's <laughs> a sick build, man. It's a sick build. This is really, really good. So it's cast away, set off the bottom, it's like boom. Doesn't it that when you set off the, the, that manual method I'm talking about there? It's like we've got these guys tagged up, then you cast them away. It sits off the bomb there. It doesn't always work though. It is a little bit glitchy. It is a little bit glitchy sometimes. So hopefully they will fix that. It's alright with this fucker, man. Oh shit! Oh man, an, an enormous amount of pack of mobs, because I'm stacking area damage as well, it's... Oh shit. Man, it's fucking that yellow patch has got popped. <laughs> it got fucking pops, man. Holy shit. Right, who we got? Bone wall up perfect, because he summons mobs. Right, just making sure. So guys, rotation-wise, man, you always want to open up a spirit branch first to get that really fast mana regen like that first to keep your Aquila up. You must keep your Aquila up, okay? Otherwise it will fuck up. But right, let's see if we can make it work there. Alright, okay, let's charge it up a bit more. Let's charge it up, man. Let's put loads and loads and loads of bombs on him. Oh, fuck. I'm not too sure if he teleports, it cancels my ROE. So what I'm doing, I'm going to reapply it. Right, he's not had a chance to cast anything yet. Come on, cast some bros, man, so we get the area damage again. Lovely. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, he just... 
Oh shit! Oh sh! Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That was fucking sick. Holy shit! Now we stacked an enormous amount of charges using Spirit Barrage, of course, with the Barber weapon here. And we're running 80% fire damage. I could run another 20 here if I get the GG roll. And we just pretty much just one shot the Bone Warlock. As soon as he summoned another mob, there was a chain reaction. The whole thing went off, man. Holy fucking shit. Man, that was absolutely sick. I've never seen an RG pop like that since, uh... Since, uh, my god, since, uh, fucking, uh, the old Jade, man. Jesus Christ, guys, what do you think, man? What an absolutely amazing build. Now, are Blizzard gonna nerf this? <sighs> I hope not. Obviously, it needs some tweaking, you know, the mechanic is quite buggy here and there. But, my god, it's so satisfying to play. So, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what's going on with this build, man, but it's, uh... It's extremely viable. Extremely viable. And there you go, guys. What do you think, man? If you've got any ways to improve this build, uh, please stick them in the comments below. As you guys, please like and subscribe and share this video. Holy shit. Lon, ROE, Will of Souls is the beast build right now. Guys, thanks very much, man. Have fun in Sanctuary. See you guys soon. Holy shit. <laughs>